All right, so welcome to another Android Studio tutorial where in this video I'll be showing you how to create a draw view with a color picker. And it's very fast and straightforward and it also has an undo button so you can draw as you please and you can undo all the mistakes you've made. But uh, let's get started immediately by going to our Gradle file and, and adding these three dependencies. One is for the draw view, one is for the color picker and the last one is the material design library. And uh, essentially, I absolutely forgot to add this other uh, dependency, but uh, I'll show you right now. So here's the color picker, and then we go to the draw view. And what I forgot to add was that uh, that small maven URL uh, jitpack.io. So we're gonna get that, and we're gonna go to our other build.gradle file, and we're gonna insert it right under all projects in repositories. And then we're gonna click sync now to fix that error. And after you've done that, we can go straight to our colors. And I just edited this to make the app look a bit nicer. So here I put a light gray, a black, and a dark gray, essentially. Then in styles, all you want to do here is remove the action bar by typing no action bar. And we can just move on from there. Next up is adding some vector assets. So we're going to go to new and vector assets. And here I picked first the undo button and I changed the name of it to undo. And then you're going to do that for the color button as well, but you can pick whatever vector assets you prefer. And in our activity main, I'm just going to copy and paste my old one and just explain really quickly what I put in here. So you have a relative layout at the top with a background of whatever color you prefer. Then I added a card view widget, gave it an ID of CV view, and I gave it a nice radius to make it nice round corners and a margin. Then another draw view widget, which all you have to do is make sure it matches the parent where you want to add the draw view. Then under that, we added two floating action buttons, both with uh, the IDs of FB undo and FB underscore color picker. And you just align them wherever you want on the screen. But after that, we can go to our main activity and create this function, which is drawing button setup. And right under, we're going to actually create it. So let's write FB underscore color picker, set an on-click listener for it, and create a value of color picker. And it's gonna be of type color picker, and we're gonna initialize it here with the context of this. And we're going to write color picker dot set on fast choose color listener. And we're going to create an object of color picker on fast choose listener. And we have to implement two methods by right clicking on object. And then we can go down here and write dv underscore draw view and set the color to the color that we pick. And on cancel, it's going to be very simple. All we want to do is dismiss the dialogue. And after that, we're going to add a few more settings, such as disable default buttons, and we're going to write true, and we're going to do set columns to five. And right after that, we can write dot set round color button to true, because I like it when they're round, and we're going to write dot show. Just like toast messages, it's very important you write them or it won't show up. Then we're going to write fb underscore undo and set another onclick listener for this. This is for our undo button. We're going to dv underscore draw view, and we're going to use the method that it created for us, which is just undo. And we're going to show a snack bar at the bottom in case the user wants to go back to the original. We're going to do make with the, the view of it, and it's going to have a text of undo successful just to tell the user that they were successful. Then we're going to write set action, and it's going to be called redo. And all you have to do is create a lambda expression with the dv underscore draw view and use another one of the methods that's already pre-created, which is just dot undo. And of course, you should write show there. But after that, you should have a fully functionally, uh, functioning draw view, one that lets you undo, one that lets you pick colors, and yeah, essentially that's all there is, but this is a very basic draw view. And I also wanna show you one more thing that if you can also add another setting so you can actually add your own colors, just write set colors and you can add whatever colors you want. I, be I believe you can use hex colors, you can use int colors, whatever colors you prefer. But uh, definitely look at the dependency if you want to learn more about these draw views. For now, I just showed you the very basic implementation, something that you can make in maybe five minutes. But uh, other than that, I hope this tutorial helped and uh, Please leave a comment in the section below if there's something else you'd like me to make.